Shalom, giving all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, double honor to the elders. And the apostles of Great Millstone and greetings and salutations to Akim, upholding testimony of our Lord and Savior, how we shine in truth and sincerity. This is a, uh, a prophecy update. RT News is entitled Airport Takeover. Mm. Palace fire and promise of tough response here's how Kazakhstan's unrest escalated and so what what we see transpiring currently in Kazakhstan is something in which originated from a hike I guess an unreasonable hike in gas prices which began or it initiated protests, civilian protests. <clears throat> Pardon me. But what has taken place is it has grown, and I say it has grown in the sense of present because it's... So the the protests are still taking place. All right, they're still taking place, and they are vicious. And that, you know, I'm gonna get some of this article, and we're gonna get some scripture regarding this circumstance at hand. Let's see here. All right. So, this is RT News. Airport takeover, palace fire, and promise of tough response. Here's how Kazakhstan unrest escalated. The Central Asian state country... Pardon me. The Central Asian state continues its apparent descent into chaos as street protests triggered by a hike in gas prices grow increasingly violent. The situation in Kazakhstan took a sharp turn for the worse on Wednesday as several cities saw violent unrest with administrative buildings storm a president a presidential resident set on fire in the main airport allegedly seized this is major this isn't something this isn't some small incident that happened under the under some rock somewhere Kazakhstan is a country filled with this is a very populous country these inner cities in Kazakhstan, have millions of people. Millions of people. It's a country that borders I, I Afghanistan. It's in that um, eastern portion of the Middle East. And um, yeah, how about Shimi Awasha is doing this? You know the heavenly Father. He he's doing this. It's him who uh, who's calling the shots. All right, and he's controlling the mind of the protesters, and he's also controlling the the mind of the leadership. Now, it's been in that uh, the they have. Uh, contacted and communicated with the Russian 
essentially Rus Russian forces uh, for pe peacekeeping endeavors. All right. And what is that a fulfillment of prophecy? Oh, pardon me, that is a fulfillment of prophecy, but what prophecy is that a fulfillment of? You know? Let's go to... Uh, matter of fact, let's see here. Let's, let's start off with this right here. This is Second Ezra chapter 15. Verse 14, it says, For the sword and the destruction draw of nigh, and one people should stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands, for there should be sedition among men and in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And that's what we see taking place in Kajakistan. It says, And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Now, I was just recently listening to this video that you see right here. Not going to play it. It's about 20 minutes. It's a news video based upon what's going on. And it says that uh, it's bad out there, man. Like, it's basically like chaos and anarchy in these major cities where the police and the governmental forces have no power and jurisdiction the protesters have taken control. All right, this is this is heavy. This is how this is how regimes are toppled and things of that nature. So this is not a small circumstance, and we see the Russians being a. Oh, that's exactly what I want to get. So what is it that a fulfillment of seeing the Russians being involved? We see the Russians also also evolve in um. Uh, Syria, heavily with Assad. All right, but let's let's get a uh, let's get that scripture. What's that a familiar? That what's what that is a fulfillment of? Pardon me. This is, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 38, verse 1. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against God, the land of Magad, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesied against him. And who is that? Let's talk about Russia. All right, Russia is that God, is that mountain. All right. I'm going to um, skip down to verse, f f well, uh, y'all yeah, skip down to, to verse um, 3. It says, and say, thus saith the Lord Yahweh. And whenever you see the all caps, where, whether it says Lord or God, that's in the Hebrew is saying Yahweh. It says, behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. So the heavenly father is against Russia. All right, verse 4. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth. And what he did is, from the fall, the Lord allowed Russia to fall as the Soviet Union. All right? But he's bringing them back now into the playing field. All right? Being a guard unto these um, former satellite states. All right? And other states further, further. All right? And we're going to read that actually right here. It says, um, I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, and all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields and all of them handling swords. And this is them being brought to Armageddon and Russia will lead. And this is the start of that. Verse 5, Persia, which is are the Iranians, Ethiopia, which... Uh, uh, Somalia, Eritrea, actual Ethiopia. All right. It says, and Libya with them, which is North Africa. It says, all of them with shield and helmet. 
All right. I'm going to go down to verse 7. This is the point. It says, Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. Be a guard unto them. So that's the point. Russia will be a guard unto these nations in these last days. All right. And we see that taking place firstly with these satellite states, former Soviet satellite state, which is being reestablished under the jurisdiction of Russia, as we see. All right. And it's just, look, look, look at this. Chaos grips Kazakhstan's largest city. Storm and local administration and other governmental buildings. Bro, what the heck? This is, damn, this is not something small or cute. This is serious business. This is serious addition. Goodness sake. President Bow's tough response. President's residence stormed. One of the president's houses was stormed. Bro, they set the building on fire. What the hell? The president, one of the presidential houses, buildings were set on fire. That is huge. It captured the airport. Here we go. What do we see at the end? I'm going to finish it off on this. Russia calls for peaceful solution. Mos Moscow broke its silence on the situation in the former so in the former Soviet Republic on Wednesday. That's perfect for what we just spoke about. With the foreign ministry urging all parties to show restraint and seek a peaceful solution to the crisis. All right? And this is what is said and there will be no peace. <laughs> There'll be no peace only war until the coming of our Lord and Savior and the establishment of the kingdom of heaven. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh by Shemiah. Shout out to the elders and possibly a millstone. Salutations to you. I can shalom. Keep the faith.